This was the highest six month close ever in the history of Bitcoin. And the amount of Bitcoin ATMs installed worldwide is nearing an all time high as well. Let's quickly jump into the video. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. Run BTC. Yes, Bitcoin started running again, guys. In today's video, we have five amazing Bitcoin jars. We have some amazing news. We're going to share a crypto tip. Yes, of course, answering the question of one of the followers and ending the video with an inspirational quote. Let's quickly jump into the news first to see if that could influence this pump even more. The number of cryptocurrencies ATMs worldwide has spiked with 17.8% to 38,250 Bitcoin ATMs worldwide now. The previous all-time high was around 39,000 Bitcoin ATMs. In 2023, we had a huge drop of 2,300 ATMs. This year, again, we were installing a lot of new Bitcoin ATMs, which makes us coming closer to the previous all-time high of 39,500 Bitcoin ATMs worldwide. Now, which Bitcoin ATMs are the leading companies in this industry? Let's have a look. Bitcoin Depot, CoinFlip and Athena Bitcoin are the leading ATM companies in this industry, guys. Bitcoin Depot has 7,543 machines. CoinFlip has around 5,000 machines installed. And Athena Bitcoin has around 2,750 machines installed worldwide. At the moment, more than 82% of all of these machines are installed in the United States. And on the second place is Canada with 7.7% of all of these machines installed. In the last two years, Australia is the biggest country with a surge of 17 fold to now 1700 Bitcoin ATM machines all over Australia. So Australia is the fastest growing market when it comes to these Bitcoin ATMs. And other countries that also have a lot of Bitcoin ATMs are for example Spain with 300 ATMs, Poland with 280 ATMs, El Salvador with 215 ATMs, Germany with 176 seven ATMs, Hong Kong with 169 ATMs, and many more countries have more than 100 ATMs, guys. So yes, more and more ATMs are being installed worldwide, which also makes it very clear that Bitcoin is not only a store of value, Bitcoin is also a peer-to-peer -peer cash. You can buy and sell your Bitcoins at these ATMs. You don't need a bank for that. Most of these ATMs still have high fees, but the more ATMs we will get, the more competition there will be, the more the fees will drop to lower fees because they all want to sell their Bitcoins through the ATMs and then the fees will probably in the future come equal to the fees of the fees of an exchange. That's where they will work to. But before we want to reach that level, we need to install a shitload more of Bitcoin ATMs so that everyone everywhere in the world can start to buy and sell Bitcoins at these ATMs, guys. And for all those very dumb, dumb, dumb thieves, no, you cannot do a crash of these ATMs. You cannot steal the Bitcoins out of these ATMs. These Bitcoin ATMs don't hold the Bitcoins. So please don't drive your car into this Bitcoin ATM to try and get some Bitcoins out of it. That's just not possible. That was possible with those retarded ATMs for the banks. That's not possible with the ATMs for Bitcoin because there is no Bitcoin in it. And yes, there has been many cases, many cases worldwide that robbers try to rob these ATMs of Bitcoins because they just don't understand what Bitcoin is. There is no Bitcoins in that ATM. Now, the second news item is for all the Dutch people out there. There's a company company in the Netherlands, Maevi Verduurzaming. This is a company that installs solar panels, that installs air conditioning, that installs heat pumps, that install, installs all the things that you can do for the verduurzaming of your house. Verduurzaming for all the uh, English speaking people means sustainability of the house. So your home sustainability, For I think that's the correct word. This company, my AV Verduurzaming, is now accepting Bitcoin. So that if it is getting too warm in the Netherlands and you need an air conditioning, you can buy this now with Bitcoin. If you want solar panels, then you can now pay for them with Bitcoin. If you want these heat pumps installed, you can now paid for them with Bitcoin. If you want batteries that collect all your energy, you can now pay for them with Bitcoin. So my AV, this company, is now accepting Bitcoin for all the Dutch market. They have a huge company. Check their website. I have a link down below, a special link. If you use that link to go to my AV, you maybe even get a bonus. And yes, I was talking to this company as well because I told them maybe you should make the step into integrating a small Bitcoin miner or a Bitcoin node into your concept. So when you sell a shitload of solar panels in between 
fix a Bitcoin miner so that all those people that have this overcapacity of like electricity, they don't throw it away or they don't give it back to the governments, but they mine Bitcoin with that. With that, they decentralize the network and they earn a little bit of extra money next to the extra energy that they are saving because of their solar panels. So it was a really cool concept where they are thinking about it, but at least they already started to accept Bitcoin. So go check their website out, what products you can buy in the Netherlands, but you can buy them now with Bitcoin. So yes, to think green, to think efficient, to think in healthy environments, you can now pay with the most healthy currency for solar panels and all that other stuff, guys. So go to my AV, use the link down below and check them out. Now let's quickly jump into charts because this was the highest six month close ever. And what does that mean for the rest of the upcoming 12 months? So two times another candle of six months. Let's quickly jump into charts to show you. The first chart for today, guys, is this amazing four hour chart again. Look how beautiful the indicator setup again had an amazing call, guys. Let me show you over here. We had a buy signal. The candle were above the yellow stepping line, a flat yellow stepping line. But the blue line was above that white line and the white line was curling up and there was a lot of green at the same time without any blue or yellow. The green line was even on top over there. Quadruple confirmation of this trade to take. And yes, this trade is, of course, a beautiful trade. All the way up to 63,400. We even reached almost the 63,800 level over there. That's, of course, that level of resistance. Let's see if we can close a few candles above that again to go to the next level of resistance around 65K. But this bullish trade was a beautiful trade to take on the four hour chart. Of course, also on the one hour chart or any other short term frame, you would have even bought a little bit earlier. You would probably would already have bought over there around the 29th of June guys amazing chart zooming out now because that's way more important at the moment because we just closed the weekly candle this weekly candle was this one over here that weekly candle had an open of 63,000 had a high also of 63,000 had a low of 58,450 guys now we are closing at 62,600 so this weekly candle what is this candle showing you this weekly candle is showing you something very important. It's showing you a very large wick to the bottom, a tiny body on the top and a tiny candle on that top. So in the weekly, when we see these kind of candles, this means it's a reversal candle. There is a lot of buying pressure and that is what mostly leads to another beautiful run of Bitcoin. Just like this weekly candle also did the same. We had a large wick, we had a green smaller body, uh, the body was even bigger than now and we had a small wig on top we went a little bit down or we opened and then we came up massively here same large wig we went up massively weekly candles so these weekly candles are important to keep an eye on we don't have a wig on the candle before even so yes we have a beautiful dump then a candle with a large wick. And now this green candle is being built up. It will you know, take another six days to end this candle. If this candle will be a green candle around this green line, 64,000 US dollar, if you can close above that one, it would be amazing. If you close around that one, also very positive, then that huge wick had an influence to go up again. You can also see the RSI going flat and probably turning up as well. Now, if you zoom out a little bit more, we can even look at the monthly candles and on the monthly candles we can see this is a sideways pattern we are just going up massively from here from that bear market bottom going up 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 up, up. now one month two months almost three months almost four months sideways four months spending between 60 and 70k 60 and 70k also this candle again between 60 and 70k this candle again between 60 and 70k four monthly candles between 6 and 70k 60 and 70k and now the next candle is opening for another month let's see how this candle again will become a candle sideways or will this be a finally candle that goes up a little bit uh, i will show you a little bit later what the summer candles mostly do july and august as you know i just told you guys on the six month chart we have just closed the highest six month candle ever and that's what you see on this chart you can see on this chart this is the candle that we closed this is the highest six month candle close ever in bitcoin i'm going to zoom out just don't um, mind all the numbers now because those numbers are tied to the monthly chart but if you look to this one this candle over here 
is the highest closed of all of these candles ever in Bitcoin. We have never closed a six month candle as high as this one. Now the goal is to have another higher closing six month candle. This one that we just opened now is really flat. This one needs to be higher six months and then another one not a little bit more higher six months. So we reach around 160K. That is what we are targeting in 2025. That is when the next stop will be in 2025, August, September. This six month candle will take till December. Then the next one will take to May. And the next one will again be a candle that goes a little bit higher probably, but also will close down lower because of the bear market crash that will start after that candle, guys. So yes, two more beautiful green candles ahead. Amazing times for Bitcoin. We're gonna set this one back to uh, the monthly because this chart is made for the monthly candles and they look very beautiful as well. You can pause the video and analyze all these numbers if you want, guys. Uh, I have two or three more amazing charts to show you and, and then we will jump into the rest of the video. Now, first, those amazing other charts. This is the first one, guys. This chart is showing you that July in average is a profitable month. In average, we had a return of 8% a month in profit. 9.6% in median. So we can see one, two, three, four red months since 2013 till now, 2023, we had four red months in those 10 years and we had six green months. So July mostly is a bouncing month back into green again. As you can see, um, the June mostly was a red month. This month also was a red month, minus 9%. But if you look back in history, one, two, three, four, five of those 10 months were already red. It was 50-50. Now, if you look back in history, only one, two, three, four of the 10 years were red, six were green. So there's a huge probability that July will be a green month. August, though, check that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven red. So maybe we bounce back in July, we drop again in August, and then that second part till the end of this year will start. And that part is the most bullish part. You can see it in the numbers here down below, guys. We can see July, 8% plus. August, on average, 3% plus. You know, median, minus 7%. And then it becomes September is minus 5%. But then October, 22, November, 46, December, another 5. This is almost 100% in those three months. And that's what we be, should be focusing on. This will be boring. This will be 60 to 70K sideways movement. Then October, November, December. That's the bullish part of this year. Before we have another dump probably in January, as you can see over there in 2025. And then February all the way, we start to build up that last part of the bull market. Yes, it will take another 12 year months, but be happy, 12 months of bullishness. Then we have this chart. This one is on the daily time frame, 2017. 2024 is on the two day chart. So every candle is two days. We can see it took 100 days already now in 2024 to take off. We still didn't take off. In 2017, it only took 50 days, this area. So if you compare this fractal, you know, we have the yellow block, then we have this red block, then we have the green block, and then we take off. Now we have the yellow block, we have the red block down below that blue line, and then we come above the blue line, and we have again the green block, it still needs to be filled, and then we will escape from that green block, and that will take us, bam, again to this 80K, maybe even 90K level, in my opinion. In my opinion, 90K should be the next target for Bitcoin, but it uh, can take another couple of weeks, guys, before we go there. If you look at the day chart of two days, you know, it can take easily like a month or two before we reach those 90K levels. But that would be the same fractal as we did in 2017, which would, of course, be an amazing fractal. And please remember, at that moment, we only went from $1,200 till like $1,800. It's not going to be the bull market top. It's just $90,000. US Just... Pause the video if you want to analyze that chart a little bit more. Then the last chart, guys, the rainbow chart, shows us that we are still in a, a beautiful area to buy. Everywhere where it's green, greenish, means accumulating, buying, it's still cheap. You know, these green areas are still amazing moments to buy. Why? Because we're going to sell in these orange areas, orange to red. And this area is somewhere between 120 and 160,000 US dollar. Just look back in the past. If we were bought in this greenish area, you would have made profit. If you would have bought in this greenish area and yet the bull market was full on, 
because this is the bear market bottom over there, around a couple of hundred dollars. And then here we were already at a, maybe around eight, nine hundred dollars. So we already went times five, six, and then we were still green. And that is when we went into the blow off top. When you buy in this green, still safe zone to buy. When you buy in the green, still safe zone to buy. Every time when you're in the green, it's safe because there is a bull market following up. Bam. Here, green, keep buying. We will sell around these areas, 120 to 160K. I hope you really enjoyed the charts, guys. Yes, they were short-term, beautiful, volatile. Again, a beautiful profit also for our VIP members. Bam, you can see my profit over here. At least I'm still in the trade. I didn't sell yet, but I have a huge profit already. Uh, other team members, of course, also in profit, guys. Now, long-term. How beautiful is this? The highest six monthly candle ever for Bitcoin. The next six monthly candle will end somewhere in December, will be higher. The next six month candle after that will end six months later again, somewhere in May, will be higher. And even that next six month candle will go higher but maybe close a little bit lower because then we had the bull market top already in September, October 2025. I still believe in a top 2025, the bull market is just getting started. How beautiful again, like we saw now, this beautiful pump of 3,000 US dollar in a candle of Bitcoin. These green candles are amazing. Now let's jump into the crypto tip. My crypto tip for today, guys, is always do your own research. That is what the letters D-Y-O-R mean. Do your own research. There's many influencers and many TA specialists, and they all have a different opinion about the charts. Try to watch most of them so you can make your own mind up on what you believe that will happen. Yes, I have a long-term vision. Short-term, I really don't care that much. Yes, I trade sometimes, I make some profits, but for me, it's all the bigger picture. It's a four-year cycle. But there's other people that look in other time frames that maybe have a different opinion. Like there's, for example, Crypto Crew University. I really like this channel. Steve also zooming out, looking at the bigger picture. But Steve, for example, is saying, hey, on the two monthly chart, we had a very bearish candle. You know, maybe we could now, a gravestone doji, they call it, maybe we could crash down again. Now, the next two monthly candle is now like being opened and closing. It's looking a little bit more bullish. So let's see. So everyone has a different view on the charts. My view is a bigger view. My view is like every four year cycle, there will be a higher high and there will be a higher bottom. So why would I stress about this short and body? Yes, I want to sell around the top, not the perfect top, just sell around the top and I will buy back around the bottom. Not the perfect bottom, but around the bottom. And that's how you, in average, make the most profits. Dollar cost average in around the bottom, dollar cost average out around the top. Simple as that. Now, let's jump into the next part. Answering the, one of the questions, one of the questions I received this week in this, Didi, what are you going to do with your videos in this uh, July summer month? Now, to be very clear, uh, in the summer, my oldest two daughters, they are going to leave for a beautiful holiday summer in a beautiful country. Uh, and we, with our youngest daughter, Jessa, we are going to go to a campsite somewhere here in Spain, a beautiful international campsite. And um, those three weeks, that will be like the second week of July till somewhere the last week of July, I won't be posting the videos like normally. I will be posting videos every day. Probably it will be shorter videos, like five to ten minute videos, just to keep you updated on the charts and about a special news and maybe some funny stuff in it but I'm not going to make the same format of 25 minute videos in those three weeks because I will consider those three weeks also like a little holiday for myself and I think I really deserve it because I took you guys in the last three four years from the bull market top I took you completely to the bear market I told you exactly when to buy at that bear market I kept coaching you I kept telling you buy as much as possible Bitcoin at 16K, 17K, 80K. And I made sure you stayed into Bitcoin around 25. I made sure you stayed in around 30. I made sure you sent, stayed in around 50. And I even took you to the top uh, at the moment, that top in 2024, around 74,000 US dollar. You are still hollering. We are gonna go higher and higher. But it was a lot of work in the last couple of years, four years of a lot of direct messages and a lot of people in the VIP group, a lot of people every day in my videos. So yes, I deserve a three-week holiday where I will make some shorter content. So it will still be daily a video, but a little bit shorter. It will be five to 10 minute videos. I'm still looking into how to structure them perfectly, but just so you are aware, 
from around the 10th of July all the way till the end will be with some shorter videos, but maybe, maybe they will even be better than these long format videos. So let's see. So that's the answer to the question. I will keep and continue making videos, but a little bit shorter. So I have a little bit more time to spend with uh, Jessa and my beautiful wife and our lovely dog. I didn't say gay dog this time. You thought I was gonna say it. Yes, I'm gonna also spend a little bit of time with our gay dog because this campsite even has a swimming pool for dogs, even has a shower cabin for dogs. Yes, nowadays we fit our holidays to the dog, not to my wishes anymore, but to the dog, doggy style. Now let's jump into the next part. The last part of the video, guys, today is the inspirational part. Today, I'm not going to do a quote. The inspirational part for today, guys, is about uh, my life. It's about my mother. Today, it's the 1st of July. It's her birthday. So it's happy birthday, mom, up there in heaven. She left us when she was 48 years old. Today, she would have turned 70 years old. Because she died when I was 24 years old and she was 48, she died suddenly. She just fell down in the kitchen and she was gone. It was something that we couldn't understand at the moment, and we still don't understand why it happened and how it happened, uh, but she was gone. She was in a coma for seven days. We talked a lot of her to her in coma, and then in the end, she was gone. I was 24 years old at that time. I couldn't cope with those feelings. Those feelings were too difficult for me to handle, so I threw myself into working, you know, uh, to fight all these emotional feelings. Work, 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 build your company bigger, bigger, bigger. Just spend all the time that you can and not thinking about um, your mother that just died. And at that moment, I also started to realize that life could be very short. She was 48, I was 24. Then I had only 24 year more years to live. Sadly, I need to experience that same thing one more time when my father died, when he was 60. At that moment, I was again confronted with the same fact. Life can be unpredictable. We will never know how much time we have. It can be over tomorrow, it can be over today, it can be over in 100 years. We don't know. So the most important thing on these days like today, like the birthday of my mother, I always remind myself, time is that most beautiful asset that you have. Spend that time in the way that you want to spend it. Please don't let other people dictate or direct your time. You don't know how much time you have. My mother only had 48 years. My father only had 60 years. I am 46 at the moment. Do I have two more years? Do I have 12 more years? Do I have 50 more years? It doesn't matter anymore to me. Why? Because the last eight years of my life, I've been living life to the fullest, the way I want to live life. Not the way other people want me to live life. Not the way my boss wanted me. Not the way my friends, my family, nobody. It was me, the way I want to live life. Of course, I considered the feelings of my family. Of course, I thought about what does my wife want, my kids want. But I want to show them a different way of life. I want to show them that this is also possible. So I will never be on my deathbed thinking back in the past. I should have, I could have, I would have. I never wanted to have that feeling because I've known since losing my parents that that feeling would not be a good feeling. When I was sitting there with the last year that my father was alive, he had cancer, talking with him every day about, you know, where the things you would have done different. He didn't have that many things. He did what he wanted to do his whole life. He wanted to be a professional football player. He became a professional football player successfully. After that, he pursued a professional football trainer career. He became a trainer. He trained young kids all his life. He did exactly what he wanted to do, his passion. And of course, he had stuff that I, yeah, maybe I should have spent more time with you guys on the holidays and all that stuff. You always have a few things, but don't let that few things turn now into a shitload of things that you should have, you could have, you would have. Grab life by the balls now. Live your life to the fullest. Don't wait. Don't wait. Don't let all those thoughts, all that things, all that complicated stuff in your head hold you from living your life to the fullest. Before you know it, it's too late. Start to live life now. If you have the possibility, live life to the fullest now not tomorrow and definitely not in the past and definitely not next year. You won't know what is there in the next year. You know what is here now, today. Live life to the fullest today. And you know what you spend probably the most time on at the moment? To complicate very simple things. 
things that aren't really simple, we want to complicate it. The power lies in the opposite. All that complicated stuff, simplify that. That's the power. It's not making simple things complicated. Why would you do that? Why would you make your beautiful, simple life very complicated? By adding a lot of materialistic stuff, by adding houses, scars, by adding issues, problems. Why would you do that if you can be happy in a very simplified life? The power lies in making the complicated things very simple. And realize that time is the most precious asset that you have. If you realize that time is the most precious asset that you have, why would you be spending your time to all that stupid stuff that is complicating your life? That is my life lesson for today. Live life to the fullest now, because time is the most precious asset, and we certainly don't know how much time we have. My mother didn't know, my father didn't know, and I won't know. So grab life by the balls, live it to the fullest now. That was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell and leave a comment. What do you think about the charts, about the tips, about everything else in this video? And yes, what do you want me to not leave out the videos in the next couple of three weeks when we are on that short holiday break that I, uh, yes, really deserve? Let me know down below. See you tomorrow again. Bam.